see around us here some of the uh, calves. This one just here in front of us here, the two calves. Mexico is their grandfather, and you can see they've always got the same looking head, very quiet, always come up around you. I like breeding those cattle. The more in here, they're always around you. They always just love to be friends with you. And in the we've been with the Mexico line of cattle, we, if we go to the feedlot with them, we generally up in the highest weight gain from that breed. We're also dressing better, and that bloodline also in the MSA grading, we always go generally a bit better because their eye muscle weight ratio in the carcass hanging up is better. So we generally go probably two grades better through that bloodline. So that means a few extra dollars there too. What about their meat quality? Well, their meat quality, especially this here, I've used them in a number of my functions now I've been supplying meat to, and people just love their meat because because it's always tender, but the other thing is it has a lot of the uh, marbling scores, in the, in the gene star marbling scores, and if you want people to really want to eat your meat, just add a bit of that marbling score in there, that genetic one, and people will just, it's just a magnet to eat meat. It smells so good and it tastes so good. And these cattle here, I'm using the Mexico bulls. None of the Mexico bulls have ever been supplemented feed, feed when we've been using them. They've always been in the paddock by themselves with the other cattle and they've, and they've never needed any help at all. Never had to take them out of our cattle at all. They've been joined 24 seven ever since we've owned them. Very good. That's Ashley Adams of Daracourt Blackhall. Thanks, Ashley.